Trade on him and worship him. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on him and worship him. Let's forget. Good evening, everyone. Happy Sabbath. We are here. And what time is it? It's family worship time. Where? On ASI Media Tobago chapter. I am your host, Rhea Jones. Now, this evening, as most evenings, we are changing things up a bit. Normally, you would hear war talk after family worship. But this evening, war talk will be bringing us family worship. And I know you are excited because you are asking what is this we are going to have a grand time this evening as every other evening this evening war talk will be focusing on gentleness now that's a fruit of the spirit but be honest with yourself are you gentle do you practice this fruit of the spirit even in difficult situations, even around co-workers, colleagues, maybe family members who may be arrogant at times and may tell you some things that cause you to give or think about giving a response. Well, we'll learn about this fruit of the spirit this evening. So if you have that challenge, share the link with someone, invite someone, come closer. It is family worship time. Thank you. 
Pleasant good evening, everyone. It is our privilege to be with you here on this lovely Friday evening. No, don't get scared. It is not the Youth War Talk. However, the Youth War Talk team or the Youth War Talk family, we are taking a Friday evening worship this evening. We hope you had a wonderful week. And if you did not, don't worry. Now is the time to enjoy yourself in some lovely Sabbath rest. But before we go into our worship session, I'll ask Kashif to say a word of prayer for us. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this your Sabbath day. Thank you for kindness in the the week and bring us to this point where we can enjoy and savor the Sabbath rest. So send the Holy Spirit to dwell among us during this worship session. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 So we'll begin with a few Sabbath songs. Mm -hmm. And the first one is song number 384, mm -hmm. Safely Through <coughs> Another Week. Right. Safely through another week, God has brought Not us on our way. Let us now a blessing seek, waiting in his courts today. Day of all the week the best, emblem of eternal rest. Day of all the week the best, emblem of eternal rest. While we seek supplies of grace, through the dead Redeemer's name, show thy reconciling face, take away your sin and shame. From our worldly cares set free, may we rest this day in thee. From our worldly cares set free, may we rest this day in when the morn shall bid us rise, may we feel thy presence near. May thy glory meet our eyes while we in thy house appear. Hear our fall as Lord a taste of all everlasting feast. Hear our fall as Lord a taste of our everlasting feast. May the gospel's joyful song conquer sin as comfort sings. Make the fruits of grace abound. Bring relief to all complaints. Thus may all our Sabbaths be till we rise to reign with thee. Thus may all our Sabbaths be till we rise to reign with thee. Amen. Amen. We really have to thank God for carrying us safely through another week. Mm -hmm. And we'll have one more Sabbath song. <coughs> Kashif, do you have a Sabbath song for us? Actually, it's not too far from that one. Um, you can try... 383, Odia, Fresh Tank, Gladness. You want to raise it first? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Odia, Fresh Tank, Gladness. All right, 3 4. <coughs> Odia, Fresh Tank, Gladness. Odia, Joy and Light. O Bar of Care and Sadness. Most beautiful, most bright On thee the high and holy Who bend before the throne Sing holy, holy, holy To the eternal one The water for protecting from storms that round us rise, a garden intersected with streams of paradise. The water cooling fountain in life's dry, dreary sands. From the like this God's mountain. We view our promised land. 
of sweet reflection, the words a day of love, a day to raise affection from earth to things above. New grace is ever gaining from this ordained of rest. We see the rest remaining in mansions of the blessed. Amen, amen. So we're going to sing one more song. One more song. No pianists, don't get up as yet. One more song. <laughs> it will be, I will sing of Jesus' love. I will sing of Jesus' love. 183. And we know it's because of Jesus' love. <coughs> why we can have this lovely Sabbath day of rest. And why <coughs> we are all here saved and, in, and protected under mm -hmm. God's blood. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> I will sing. Of Jesus' love. Three, four. I, I will sing of Jesus' love, sing of him who first loved me, for he left bright worlds above and died on Calvary. I will sing, sing of Jesus' love. that song it's one of my favorites mm -hmm. you know it just reminds you of the love of Jesus and the sacrifice that he made for us so before we get into you know the meat of the matter how was your week guys how was the week hectic very very hectic, very you know, um, hectic. I just find these days you know more lately it's like it's getting more busy and it's just trying to keep up mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. God is still good, man. God is still good. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. I understand. Yeah. Jamal, good? So my week was, was tiring. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, plenty of people are like, what well, school shall we do in tiring? But <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I, ha um, I have exams coming up. Mm -hmm. So this week was spent studying and some late nights, like I go to bed, take a nap, wake back up and go and study. That, that kind of week, so this week was very tiring. Mm. Okay, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. But in, I guess we can keep in mind that Jamal is a 
an excellent student. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he has, you know, some good study habits and stuff. Yeah, very much so. So it will be hectic for him. Right. Yes. So, but keep it up, Jamal. Keep it up. <laughs> we look out for great things from you, Jamal. Mm -hmm. Correct. Great Correct. things. Correct. Whatever mm. you could. And a good week, you know. It's busy, but it, mm. um, kind of happy that it's it's busy but not tiring. Okay. You know? Understood. It's busy but it's not um not tiring. So I'm happy I'm happy for that. So at least when I'm when I get home on afternoons I still have some energy to run up and down with my children. Praise the yeah. Lord. <laughs> Praise the yeah, Lord. You know you have to be thankful that God continues to grant you with the health mm -hmm. yeah. and the energy mm -hmm. to deal with your well to Interact, not deal, because deal sound kind of heavy, yeah. you know, to interact and play mm -hmm. with your lovely like children. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. must thank the Lord. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. My week was, it was very hectic and tiring. At some point in the week, I had to, you know, just shut down and, and take some time mm -hmm. because I was getting a bit overwhelmed. Right. And, you know, the dust in the air also overwhelms me so <laughs> I, I was I was down for a bit yeah sinus <laughs> problems but right God now. is good and God allows us as I said with Kern God grants us good health mm -hmm. and he promises to renew our strength so even though we faint and we get down and our body say nope 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 we can be renewed in Jesus mm -hmm. and you know Sabbath is one time where you can be renewed as well and coming together as a family, you know, mm -hmm. you get to learn and hear the different stories and the different testimonies of what happened during the week. And it helps to push you and to buoy you up so that you can go on for another week. Mm -hmm. Right? So we mm -hmm. thank God for his mercy throughout this week. So this evening, our devotion comes from Dr. Richard Krieger. And it says... Is gentleness working in you? Mm -hmm. Is gentleness working in you? Anybody thinks, anybody here thinks that they, they're gentle? Like no. you could say with confidence that no. I am a gentle person. No. <laughs> no I would say sometimes. Um, I think when, when, I, when, I, when I have to be, mm -hmm. I think I am. When I need to be. But generally, no. Generally, you're not a gentle <coughs> person? Generally, no. But when I need to be, mm -hmm. I, I am. I could hmm. be. Yeah. You know, I was. You were the only person I was looking to to so say you, that. Really? You know, you kind of gentle. Close. But no, no. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Um. I struggle. I must say, I struggle with gentleness. Yeah. <laughs> I struggle with gentleness. Um. I don't know if it's a Tobago thing because in Tobago we grew up. We cultured, you know more rigid more yeah. strong rugged, rugged. Arena, yeah. so maybe it's a culture thing but yeah yeah gentleness mm. is something tobagonians can work on yes yes i think so <laughs> so we have to open the discussion we have how can gentleness be exhibited in our lives so we spoke about, we, 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 we said that we aren't gentle, but Kashif said when he needs to be. So what are some of those circumstances that will bring out the gentleness in you? Well, you know, um, if I'm interacting with maybe someone I know who is a bit touchy, mm -hmm. or, you know, they, they can't handle they're rough sensitive. treatment, yeah, they're sensitive, mm -hmm. I will, you know, adjust to suit. Or if I'm you know, in a, a public setting. Well, I probably like, okay, like church, you know, if I'm at church, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say I'm different, right? But I'm the same person, but I will put on that side of me, you know? You're a bit toned down. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that more Christ-like kind of personality. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when I'm, like generally, when I'm out and about, out and about, you know, I'm more, you know, straightforward and kind of hard in a way, okay. ish. So while Jamal tells us, you know, where it can be exhibited or s some circumstances, Kern, you're going to look up the definition of gentleness for me. All right. For me, I would say it's also in church, but in a different light, because in my church, there are 
a lot of young people as well as very young children. Mm -hmm. So I would have to be gentle when dealing with the children because how I would talk to my friends mm -hmm. would not be the way they talk with their friends. So I may not mean anything by it, but to them it would come off as a little rough or yeah. be shouting at them. Mm -hmm. So I have to take things in a different tone, speak mm -hmm. a little softer, use different words, mm -hmm. phrase, the, phrase certain things differently in order to be gentle. Okay. All right. So Colin, give us the definition Great. of gentleness. The many that I just found is rather <laughs> interesting. Um, <clears throat> one says, and this is reference to the Bible, rather than assert, rather than asserting superior superiority, someone who is gentle wants to help others even when they have be, even when they have been done wrong. Mm -hmm. Someone who is gentle is kind, mild, and calm. Kind, mild, and calm. Mm -hmm. And you will see why I would have chosen, chosen right. Kashif yeah. out of mm. all of them. <laughs> yeah. Because Kashif is mild and he's calm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he can, but no. he's mild. <laughs> and I think because he's lacking kindness, that is why he said he is not gentle. Mm -hmm. But he's mm. calm <laughs> and mild. No, people aren't saying he's not kind. It, it is this time that Kashif should, you know, pick up for himself. However, he's so mild, so you're not doing He's okay. It's already out there. It's already out there. <laughs> right. So, in the devotion, it says gentleness is the character that will show calmness, personal care, tenderness, and the love of Christ in meeting the needs of others. It is to be more than just a personality. Mm -hmm. It is to be who we are from the work of the Spirit within us. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I use gentleness as a barometer mm -hmm. as to my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You see, when I'm easily irritated or if, you know, I respond to people harshly and it's consistent, then I'm like, can you show you a bit far? Mm -hmm. Because I think it's the God in me that allows me to respond to people calm and to respond to people kindly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as long as I realize that I'm, I'm too irritated by persons, I know that it's time to do some, to spend some time with God. Right. And that is how I use gentleness in my life. And I think for everyone, we need to get these specific things where we can use as parameters to show that if I go this way, I know I'm stepping further away from God. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone will have that. Mm -hmm. It goes on to say roughness and violence are the opposites of what gentleness is. Mm -hmm. When we have the mindset to just see what we can get out of life and make a name for ourselves, we miss out on what is best for our benefit. Then it causes us to run over others and we end up being like the men who built the Tower of Babel. I think everybody should, mm. well, the Tower of Babel, is, for those who don't know, it's a story where people, they were trying to protect themselves from an next flood. Mm -hmm. So they decided to build a big tower, and God had to say, no, 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 I'm in control. Mm -hmm. Or you go in separate ways, right? But you can read it in Genesis 11, 1 to 9. Mm -hmm. Their downfall was not the building project, but the pride and arrogance. To mm -hmm. seek significance outside of glorifying God by their achievements alone, ignoring God's love, care, and plan, and providence for a cheap and temporary substitute. So we're going to read some texts in the Bible that speaks about gentleness. So, Kern, you're going to read Proverbs 15.1. Kashif, you're going to read Isaiah 40.11. And <coughs> Jamal, you're going to read Matthew 5.5. 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Proverbs 15.1 says, A soft answer to an away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. All right. All right. So Isaiah 40, 11 says, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with the young. Matthew mm -hmm. 5, 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we've seen where some of the characteristics or traits of gentleness is where we can respond, not as people respond, but respond with kindness mm -hmm. and with, well, gentleness. They say that soft response, turn yes, away yeah. wrath. So even though somebody may be coming at you mm -hmm. in a rough tone, in a disrespectful tone, yeah. and mm -hmm. they want you, you know, they don't want you, but you're feeling like if they want you to retaliate in kind, mm -hmm. it's for us to choose the higher ground, and that doesn't just come just so. It's the working of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because, you know, um, it takes real strength to have that approach, to mm -hmm. be gentle, right? Yeah. To, to, turn a, to turn a kind heart, you know, and give a soft answer. Mm -hmm. Because for me personally, and I guess for most persons, right, the human response is to fight fire with fire. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You could get loud, yeah. I could get loud. Exactly. And especially for men, right? Men have a natural kind of, I don't know, but. I think men have a natural rage inside them, <laughs> you know what I mean? And just waiting for a chance to use it. Some men, most men, right? And for men to be gentle, right? To come down to that point and, you know, have that polished version of yourself, is it takes real strength. Mm -hmm. And only God can really give you that strength. Yeah, I would say, only God. Mm -hmm. That is so true. And then in the next scripture, Isaiah 40, 11, we see where God is saying that, somebody who is gentle, they take care of others. Yes. Mm. They're not selfish. They're not trying to build up themselves and say that I am on top and everybody else is beneath. They mm. want everybody to rise together. So that is another trait of gentleness. And Matthew 5, 5 is saying, if you are meek, you will inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. God likes humility. Mm. And in order for you to really accept who God is, you have to be humble. Because the only way you could accept somebody who you can't see and say that they are in control of you you mm -hmm. have to be humble in yourself to say you know this person is bigger than me i am not the one controlling my life mm -hmm. yeah so meek will inherit the earth yeah. if you all have anything to say you could jump in eh? <laughs> all right <laughs> so one thing i want us to know gentleness is not being weak as with meekness, gentleness is strength under control. Correct. And Kashi would have said that. Correct. It allows us to be tender. Just think how big and vast and powerful God is. Who is bigger than the universe? Who transcends space and time way beyond our comprehension? Yet, he treats us with the utmost of utmost care, tenderness. Utmost care and tenderness, mm -hmm. sorry. Knowing gentleness is trusting that God will take care of justice. Thus, we need to think correctly about who God is and who we are in him. Somebody said to know who you are is to know whose you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This understanding of his sovereignty, doctrine, and control will move us from the hurriedness of life and the cruelty that goes with it to take time with relationships growth because we are at peace with God. Mm -hmm. Gentleness allows us to bring, to be caring and nurturing to others. It helps us to stay calm and not escalate problems or push people's buttons. To build others up by allowing them to grow. It places the other first. It is being selfless as attracting people to you who could use a listening ear or help at the very least to hear, and the most important thing we can do for others is offering our friendship. When we are too full of pride, we cannot be gentle with others. We cannot be a friend, for all we will do is hurt them and push them away. Mm -hmm. And I think this is, uh, this is similar to the culture we have now, where it's saying, if you are unable, if you are not on my level, we cannot be in the same, we cannot be in a relationship. Mm. You know, and when I say relationship, I mean friendship. So you might see the person struggling, and you feel you reach, but you can't give them the time of day because you know, when you get on my level, then, then we can talk, yeah. Yeah. right? But gentleness is allowing persons, as it said, to grow. Mm. And to grow takes time. Time means patience. Mm. Yes. And we're seeing a lot more of this, um, the fruits of the spirit coming out. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So everything is intertwined. Definitely. So mm -hmm. for persons, what we want to leave you, you need to think through the steps that you need to put gentleness into action in your life. So everyone will need, everyone knows themselves. Mm -hmm. Just as I said, I use gentleness as my um, parameter to see where I am. The same way you can watch yourself, do some introspection and know when you are not where you are supposed to be. If you find you are not there, then you make the steps, put the steps in place so that you can get closer to God and his spirit can work through you. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Any final thoughts on what we read? No? I, th I think we covered it. Yeah, All right. right. So our, as I said, our prayer is that we continue to let the Holy Spirit guide us throughout our journey here on, on life. Yeah. Because we don't know when we'll go. Mm. We think that it'll be far away and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but we really don't know. So it's time for us to get our acts together. I wish everyone a blessed Sabbath evening. And Jamal is going to say a prayer for us to close. Bow all heads, close all eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to meet in our ways such as this where we can come together and worship you. Lord, we ask that you take us here back to our home safely in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 See you all next time. This evening, we would have learned a little bit more about being gentleness or gentleness. So if you have a challenge in that area, I'm sure with the scriptural references and the examples that were shared, you can top up and you can change and you can be more of who Christ wants you to be. Because at the end of the day, we cannot and have any of these gifts, any of these characteristics unless Christ lives within us. We are shifting gears a bit. This evening, Beacon of Hope Gospel Explosion Evangelistic Series starts at Post Office Street, Buku Tobago, with Pastor Darion Rouse. And we will be shifting there, where you will be fed more of the Word of God. And this evangelistic series will be carried on for three weeks. So don't miss it, because you will indeed receive more and more blessings. And for those who were a bit disappointed because we should have had our call in worship experience this evening, we do apologize. But we will be having that experience in the month of June. So if you had your song, your poem, your submit, whatever you had ready for this evening, don't worry, go and refresh yourself. Get it together as we will be having the call in worship experience in the month of June. And for those who wish to be part of our family worship experience, please remember to email us at asimediabego at gmail.com. That's asimediabego at gmail.com. Until another time, happy Sabbath and be blessed.